Hello everyone and um, welcome to our June webinar 2018. My name is Chair Dachi, I'm your host today. So today we'll be looking at the learning and teaching support sites from various institutions and this is actually the second of the series following our popular one last year. Um, so we have four fantastic speakers um, who are going to share the why, the what and the how of their support sites. So Tom is the educational designer at La Trobe University. He has over 20 years of experience working in education as multimedia developer, web developer, producer, instructional designer, consultant and manager. So he's basically done every um, everything in this area. And he's been doing this work around Teledvisor's blog and this is the launch of this blog. Um, so over to you, Tom. Thanks, Chair. I feel like um, I need to have um, a big ta-da from everyone. Um, literally, <coughs> we, um, oh, when did that flip across to? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. We go back to the, to the launch. Anyway, I'm just going to share my screen. Um, okay. We might get a nice sort of 70s effect going on here. Thank you. And I'm going to share screen one. Okay. Here we go. So, ta da, you know, there's the blog, everyone. Um, it's uh, actually it's a new voice for teleadvisors. It's a, um, a blog that I've cons we've consulted uh, with the community and. Uh, we're looking to, for this to be a way of engaging um, outwards and towards the higher ed community. Um, it's a very simple WordPress blog um, where we can have a look um, at an individual post. It's got some really nice um, design elements in here, whether you know you, you want to have a menu which um, goes through, nice and dynamic, and it's also is uh, friendly on your mobile as well. Okay, so let's see. Um, <clears throat> here we go. Just stop that nice 70s effect. Here we go. Um, now back to the uh, presentation. Okay, you can help me out, Chair, here. Now, there we go. Down we go. Share now. Of course, all of this is uh, uh, can't be done by one person, and there's quite a team involved. And uh, really, I want to say thank you very much as, to Dan and Lucia and Penny, and Lindsay and Kerry, as well as Colin and the whole uh, Teleadvisor Network community. Um, we certainly um, were very dependent on the feedback and wanting there's a strong desire to get this off on the right foot. So um, I might just talk a bit about the process that we went through, you know, to make sure that we got it right. So from there was a desire for a blog for that external voice. It's actually more than a voice. It's a a, a conversation. So we started off with a survey, and um, there was a really good response to that, and that. Um, really informed our, our moderation team and our developer team. And, you know, together they developed the policy and procedure and uh, guidelines um, for this. And the developer team developed the, um, the, the, the theme, the, the, um, the security, all the plugins, everything that's required uh, to make a good blog system for people who are used to the academic um, world in quote in um, citations and uh, all those sorts of expectations and together we have the Ed advisor blog so who and what for well it is a conversation with the wider community but our primary focus is that academic um, the Ascolite community that which we are a part of it being a SIG and also our own um, technology enhanced learning community so that, to, that, you know, our thought was uh, the outcome for our audience was to connect 
to sh share our practice, to discover those resources and really learn about the role of TEL in this third space which we occupy. So, you know, that's looking outwards, but looking uh, towards ourselves, you know, what were we seeking to do? What is our mission statement? Well, it's really around that developing the community of practice uh, through that conversation by putting out our ideas down into that sort of digital link. And hopefully we gain that, uh, that momentum of thought and build that uh, network and so we establish a good professional practice and identity. Um, so there is a lot more to that and I'm just going to keep motoring through. But really what I wanted to do was to put a call out to everyone attending and those who's listening in the, uh, in the recordings to actually become a contributor. And the process is really quite simple. One is simply go to the blog to su subscribe. And then secondly, to request um, uh, to become a contributor. Uh, you, everyone starts off as a contributor. And as we go through, um, you can become an author, which will give you more rights and make it actually easier to publish. Just wanted to say it's a really simple process and we really encourage people to do that. Um, the tools that are available to you, of course, it's under WordPress, so it's a widely known platform, but you've got citation tools. You can also have co-authors, so it doesn't have to be one person um, posting. That can actually be multiple people. Um, the, those rich images that you saw on the front, uh, you can get them from Pixabay or from Unsplash, which are lovely um, CC0. Uh, public domain images, but also you can um, add your own profile information to each post so people can discover more about you. Excuse me. <coughs> um, so the last question is why contribute? And uh, it was lovely to come back off. Uh, excuse me, folks. I might mention here that Tom is being really sick this week and so we're really grateful that you're presenting this and sharing this, Tom. Uh, it was, <clears throat> I'm going to have to call it, sorry. No worries. I think we've seen a lot of the good work that's already happened with the Televisors blog. Um, congratulations to the team who's been involved in doing that actual, a lot of work behind the scene. Um, I'm wondering if you, any of you might have questions for Tom and Tom might be ready to respond to that in the meantime. I'm seeing lots of compliments coming in. Where did we land on CC? What's CC, Colin? You might want to just take the mic. Our Creative Commons. Um, I don't know if we discussed that in details, Tom. Do you have a response? Oh, hello. Um, yeah, you know, Creative Commons. So we were having uh, an offline discussion um, the other week about um, Creative Commons because obviously this is a, a pretty important aspect of um, teleadvisor activities uh, and whether we're looking at um, by attribution uh, or what level of uh, Creative Commons licence um, we're considering. Um, so obviously if Tom's unable to speak, um, I don't know if um, someone else from the team is able to pop in. Um, so that would, yeah, I guess that was, um, and, and uh, one of the other things I guess that came up was uh, if in, in terms of the blog we were discussing both 
um, publishing uh, original content from uh, Teleadvisor members, as well as republishing some of the stuff that's appearing on all of the other fantastic uh, support sites around the traps. Um, so I guess we may need two different conditions. Hmm. Oh, there we go. So we Tom by uh, Creative Commons Share by Sharealike. Like. Yeah. So exactly as um, as as I suspected. Um, cool. Thanks. Thanks, Colin, and thanks, Tom. We might wrap this up. I think um, Katie wrapped it up really nicely in the chat as well that we saw the synergy across all of the four presenters today, which is the trend towards sharing and creating more open source resources across um, different places. So sharing is caring and you being here is a really big way for us to connect and keep working together. So um, keep connecting with us through Teleadvisors and we'll see you next time in July. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you all the presenters today. Bye for now. We'll continue this discussion in the Moodle.